Falk ambulances have been on the streets in San Diego full time for about three months now. The company won the city's five-year 911 contract after beating out the previous provider, American Medical Response. Falk promised more staffing and new life-saving equipment. Yes, yeah, so the ramp up process was challenging. Jeff Baim runs Falk San Diego Operations. The company spent six months building up before taking over just after Thanksgiving. He acknowledges that staffing requirements haven't been met yet. They were slightly below that level. It depends, it's day to day. Now there's challenges to that. Baim says the most recent COVID-19 surge complicated operations. Now we just came on the other side of the Omicron virus, so that's really good and our staffing's improving very well. But January was challenging. You know, 25% of our employees were out at some time sick with COVID. Data from the city of San Diego over the last three months shows that Falk hasn't quite met their monthly staffing requirement. In February, they were about 8% short. We're working uh, towards meeting the goal that we said we would meet, and we're in a much better position today than we were when we started. Fewer staff means some have to pull extra shifts, and the city is worried about busy crews and the potential for burnout. As we move through the contract, you know, we continue to uh, address the requirements and Falk, as I mentioned, is, is making achievements with, uh, with each of those requirements. Jody Pierce is the Deputy Chief of Emergency Medical Services for the San Diego Fire Rescue Department. She says the city runs the 911 system with Falk providing ambulance transports. Each fire apparatus has a firefighter paramedic on it, and then the second medic is coming from Falk Ambulance. And again, they're providing the transport to the hospital from the incident. The department says to their knowledge, everyone has gotten the care they needed. And Pierce says that Falk's three-month report card doesn't show the full picture. I feel very good about you know where we are right now in our contract agreement with them. Falk is following through on other contract obligations, like bringing in new ambulances. At least half of the fleet is brand new, and Falk says all the vehicles will be in by April. You can never go wrong with a brand new ambulance. Mark Selipak is a paramedic supervisor for Falk. He's worked emergency medical response in the city over the last 22 years, which has seen many different operators. Rural Metro, SDMSE, AMR, and now Falk, Mobile Health Corp. Celopac says the ambulances come with new tech that helps first responders and patients like power loading gurneys. Help save our back. It's also with the, the wing gurneys, it's uh, more suited for our heavier patients, but one of the big factors in those gurneys is it, it's, it prevents injuries. It's also now just one person instead of sometimes two or three. Ojeni Tuma okay. is a 911 paramedic with Falk. She says ambulances also now have Lucas devices. They deliver automatic chest compressions. It's super easy to use, yeah. And then um, it'll basically start compressions. It allows one more person to do other things rather than compressions. Um, it actually frees up two people. While they have new equipment, staffing issues are persisting. Falk reports that response times are at or near 90% across the city. We're really proud of our of our Falk employees, our paramedics and our EMTs that are responding out to the to the San Diego residents and making sure that we get there in as quickly as possible time as we can. And you know, it's just been really under some tremendous strains in the last few months with COVID and folks being out ill. And uh, they're just working really hard and we're so proud of them. And, and I want the community to know that they're working really hard for them as well. Falk could be fined by the city if they don't meet contract requirements. The San Diego Fire Rescue Department says they will continue working with the ambulance company to deliver the highest level of emergency services. Matt Hoffman, KPBS News.